SciFi 2023. In collaboration with various renowned institutes, Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi, National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, Goa, CSIR, National Institute of Oceanography, Department of Science and Technology, Government of Goa, Goa Science Center, Goa University, and Entertainment Society of Goa. Vidyan Parishad is a science movement with a Swadeshi spirit and aspires to inculcate scientific temperament, interest, and involvement with students across schools and colleges of Goa. The first edition of SciFi was in 2016 and was conceptualized by Sri Jayant Rao Sahasrabuddhi and drew wholehearted support then by the late Manohar Parikarji, the former Chief Minister of Goa. This is the 8th edition of SciFi and is scheduled from the 18th to the 20th of April 2023, wherein various science-based activities, screening of documentaries and science films, followed by interaction with scientists of repute, a teacher's workshop, a science exhibition, and various other programs will be organized. Over the next couple of days at this spectacular venue, we promise you an opportunity for experience and exposure, for imagination and insight, backed by concepts and clarity. Directors, IS officers, government officials, heads of institutions, researchers, scientists, teachers, and you, my dear students. I also sincerely acknowledge the presence of the print and electronic media present with us here. Jay Shari Bhagi Shwari Jay Shari Bhagi Shwari A warm welcome to the 8th edition of Science Film Festival of India, which celebrates the intersection of science and cinema. It is with a great pleasure and excitement that I welcome you all to the inaugural session of the Scientific Film Festival of India. This festival is a celebration of the wonder of science and its impact on our daily lives, as well as platform for showcasing the latest development in science communication through the media of film. As we gather here today, I am reminded of the immense power of science to inspire, educate, and transform the world. The progress we have made in fields such as medicine, technology, and space exploration has been nothing short of remarkable and has fundamentally altered the way we understand ourselves and the universe around us. Yet, despite these incredible achievements, science remains inaccessible to many, its complexities and intricacies often hidden behind technical jargon and esoteric theories. This is where science communication plays a crucial role by translating science concepts into engaging accessible narratives that can be understood by a wider audience. And what better way to do this than through the medium of film? With its ability to tell powerful stories, evoke emotions, 
and create lasting impressions. Film has the potential to engage and inspire people in ways that traditional academic papers and lectures cannot. Through the Scientific Film Festival of India, we hope to showcase the best of science filmmaking from around and provide a platform for filmmakers and scientists to collaborate and exchange ideas. edition of Science Film Festival, Sci-Fi, is inaugurated and I feel confident that the program will be successful in achieving its goal. The purpose why film was chosen has been already told by our uh, Chairman of Organizing Committee. Now Sci-Fi is a flagship program of Vidyan Parishad Goa and has reached all corners of Goa through the pre-activity as well as through the student participation in the main festival. Over the years, we have possibly uh, you know, reached to one full generation of students. Vidyan Parishad has reached the majority of schools in Goa year after year, also through another program that is Vidyarthi Vigyan Manthan and I think many of you are sitting here who have been the participants of this uh, activity. Again, several teachers here are part of Shiksha Shilpi program, which is for further enriching the teaching experience. Now, in addition, Vidyan Parishad has organized several special lectures and workshops. Recently, we had a workshop uh, along with ISRO. So it's ultimately to make the, popular, the uh, science more popular, initiate the students or even for the teachers to get initiated into field of research. So this is the aim and objective. And while doing all that, we have been stressing on Indian science. Science is science. But then whenever Indians do it, usually we consider it is inferior. No, please believe in yourself and our scientists are doing tremendous work and activities of Vidyan Parishad are focused at developing that confidence in our own capability. Vidyan Bharati is our parent organization with its spread of activity across the entire globe. Uh, Last year, we had India International Science Festival. Many of you have attended, you have seen that. Promotion of Swadeshi Science has been the primary role of Vibha, Vidyan Bharati, and all state units, including Vidyan Parishad, design our activities in line with uh, the policies of Vibha. This year, our focus is on Pancha Mahabhutas from scientific point of view. Like Prithvi, Aap, Tej, Why you must have seen it on our uh, brochure. In the end, I wish to bring out a point that we are screening larger number of science films which are made in India. Because I must tell you, uh, seven years back when we wanted to do that, we couldn't get a single film which would give enough of message. We had some films which were biopics and such things but pure we did not have so now we are very happy that we are getting our own indian films to uh, you know pass the message of science and that is a development thank you very much it is an honor to inaugurate the science film festival as venue partner with vidyan parishad and uh, since I have a very short period uh, to speak on this topic and science is one of my favorite topics. 
So we always, uh, mostly in schools when we study about physics, mathematics, chemistry, some of it comes as sterile, some of it comes as monotonous. But science is, science is actually very practical, it is all around us. If you are sitting here in this auditorium, the sound that is reaching you in the amplified form, the lights which you see, everything is a product of science. And science has enriched our life in a very great way, right from agriculture to space exploration, we are all indebted to science. What science has been able to achieve is through very strong emotions of courage, curiosity and relentless scrutiny of its methods and processes. So much so that science itself gets a lot of, uh, uh, gets tested to these standards. So if I remember in my childhood, one of the essays which we used to write was, I think if uh, students here also write is, is science a boon or a bane? Is technology a boon or a bane? Yes. And science does live up to its standards to be effective because if I just look at the working of this microphone, any single thing which goes wrong in this microphone, if you do not follow the natures of science, you cannot get it rectified no matter what you do. It is an exact discipline. It has highest standards of scrutiny. But science also needs advocates and this uh, platform where the science is being democratized, it is being explained in a way which can be understood apart from equations and graphs and theorems, it is in a way which can be understood by everyone. So please enjoy this festival and I would request all of you to come out as, as advocates of science from this experience. Thank you. At the outset, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers, particularly Vidyan Parishad Goa, for involving me in this festival from day one. This is the eighth edition, and Professor Gorse may correct me if I'm wrong, that I've been associated right from the first edition. I consider this to be a privilege and an honor, and I must thank two individuals for it. Of course, Professor Dr. Jayantrao Sahasrabuddhe, who was a mentor of this and who was the inventor of this science film festival, and Professor Godse, both who involved me right from day one in this festival. I think this is a unique opportunity for students in Goa uh, to stretch their minds, to be innovative. Uh, as Sri Jyoti Kumari has said, that science touches every single element, every single human being in our universe 24 hours a day. And if you go to see, India's traditional strength used to be in science and mathematics. Somewhere down the line, thanks to the British rule, we lost it because they wanted us to be not masters, but servants of the regime. And that's how we shifted from being brilliant minds to rote learning. Thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister today and to the entire government that we are going back to a new policy called the New Education Policy, which will be hopefully based more on application than on theory and which will give you all the flexibility to be creative, innovative and think about how would you like to run your life through strong foundations in science and mathematics. And I think a unique opportunity like the Science Film Festival, it's always said that storytelling is the best mechanism as the Honorable Vice Chancellor has said. If you remember the stories that our parents and grandparents told us when we were very young are still completely entrenched in our minds because that's how powerful the mechanism of storytelling is and what way, better way than films to make you get more curious, more to ask questions. One thing I must tell all the students here, never get afraid to ask questions. However silly that you may think you are, it's very important to have inquisitive minds. Your question can be stupid, your question can be simple, but ask it to your teacher because that's how you learn and try and realize your true potential in yourself. I will not take much of your time because there are, you want to watch films and there are other honored guests who will speak. But I will tell you only one thing, that for India to regain its past glory, we must focus on our strengths and our focus is, our strength is science. So please focus on sciences and mathematics 
And I think if you follow today's digitalization of the economy, if you follow what's happening in India, I think with the Honorable Prime Minister's mission of making everybody get a better standard of life, I think innovation in sciences is very, very important. And I hope with these kind of film festivals, and let me congratulate both uh, Vidyan Bharti and Goa Vidyan uh, Parishad for getting this unique festival to Goa. And every time I see it being more innovative, more better. Uh, and I would like to assure Professor Godse and his team of our group's full support to unique initiatives like this. Thank you. I'm thankful that you all are all here for the 8th edition. And as the past speakers have said, that initially it was difficult to find a science film. So there are many to be showcased to you. And I'm sure your inquisitiveness, all my young friends who are here, will be part of this entire thing to learn something from it. And maybe down the line, maybe as the speakers have said, various speakers have said, you will come up with something more. And that is what we are all here. I remember when I was young, I'm still young, huh? Am I young? I look young or I look old to you? Old, very good. <laughs> old, no, I look old or I look young? Yeah. Young, that's good, thank you. But when I was in younger, more, more younger days, when I was very young, I remember we had a very old telephone. And to call somebody, we had to call, we had to call, a, we had to call a trunk call booking number. We had to call and then they used to connect you, they used to tell you that the call will come at 10.15 or whatever, 11 o'clock. Today the world has changed it's because people like you, not like people of the club, people of me. Because people like you have ventured into science, technology, inventions, and today if you want to see, you have a mobile here, the phone is in my pocket, call it at any time, don't have to wait for anybody. This is science and technology, this is innovation. And this is because the young minds like you have taken up. I'm not sure when I become old, I will just stand here and I will be lifted to go to a different place. And that is what you all have to vie for. And just, just this is what the innovations are. Today, if you see, plastic is also one of the best inventions which can be part of this universe. But it is also a menace today. Because we don't take care of it. Plastic has taken care of a lot of things where in the past we used to see a lot of things where maybe wood was used. Today it has been changed. But then what happens is it becomes a menace because we don't dispose it together. And I know today, just before we could come here, all the dignitaries were sitting together. We were waiting for each other one to assemble. And then we are coming forward to you. We blame each generation for what is happening today. If you go out today, you are very cold. I can see some of you wearing jackets again because you are feeling much cold. But when you go out today, the temperatures have increased. And each one blames, we blame the past, we blame our politicians, we blame everybody for being part of the warmer environment. We talk about goals, ecological goals, climate change goals. We talk about so many other things. But as my young friends today, I would like to sincerely ask each one of you, and what are we as young friends doing to keep this ecological disadvantages for our next future? Now you are all young here, there are old people like me here also. But my young friends here, if we don't do what we are supposed to do. I remember Honorable Prime Minister's words every time. I remember his words, what are his words? He says, if I do not make the change, who will make the change? He says that if I do not throw a litter, then who will throw the litter? So if all the eyes together who are here today, if we make a change in ourselves, and if I start taking care of my own ecology, if I take my care of my environment, like say you grow a tree, see that tree grows along with you. You don't throw plastic or you eat a chocolate, you don't throw it on the street. You take it back home, dispose in the right direction. I think these eyes can make the future of this world. These eyes can make a change. And that is what we are all vying for you. Well, I will not take much of a time. I am happy here that my mentor, Sri Manohar Parikarji, who is who's no longer with us here, but he has been always inspiring and I, I think that maybe I try to follow his footsteps. I try. I am not showing that I am following his footsteps. Because he is a man of great vision, responsibility. And maybe as you grow, you don't know, maybe you will not know Mr. Manohar Parikar. Maybe you are young. But I know Manohar Parikar and we should all know what Mr. Manohar Parikar has done for the state of Goa and has done for the entire nation as a defense minister. But he was one of the persons who is instrumental to being you all here today to see the science fiction movies. And I thank you for doing this. I am happy also to know that so many other people have been participating in this event. All the names are here, I will not repeat. And I am sure with the involvement of all these people, as you grow, 
as you come next year for the science uh, festival, there will be more things to be seen. So with this few words, I know you want to watch the film. I will request you once again that I, that, that I, what Honorable Prime Minister is asking you all to be, is you all eyes. Everybody, yeah, all of us here are eyes. And if we make a change today, then I think the temperature which everybody thinks of and it is growing, because we, I don't know how many years we are going to be here, but you all are going for many more years. And that is why, if you make a change for yourself, if you make a difference, you grow a tree. We learn a lot of things, but if you grow a tree and you see that it grows along with you, all your eyes can make a difference in the climate change. So with these few words, I wish you all the best. And I'm sure that uh, with this science village, what good response which all of you and many other students will come here to be part of it. You are going to learn a lot of things. I wish you best in your success. But you make the difference. As Mr. Dimpo has said, inquisitiveness makes you different. And you do not get scared to make the change. This is what two words I will leave with you. And I repeat again what Honorable Prime Minister says that I, 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 remember the word I again and again. And if I don't do this, or if I do this, then you will be part of the greater world. With these few words, I thank the organizers. I know I am a shop gap arrangement. Honorable Chief Minister was supposed to be here. Unfortunately, he had something else to go for. So I am a shop gap arrangement as a chief guest. But I am sure that whatever the organizers have done for these few days and to bring all these films to you, you will enjoy. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you.